Everybody likes Lego, right? But not as much as I do. Mm. Mm. I love Lego. Mm. Welcome to Sweet Kitchen Skills. I use this pre-mixed cocoa butters from Pavoni. Link is in the description. There's also a link where you can buy these Lego molds. And just that you know they're difficult to use. The mold temperature is always between 17 and 18 degrees when I spray. Heating the spray gun from time to time is very important, otherwise your cocoa butter will get stuck in there. I choose my colors wisely. I go from the lightest to the darkest color. I just dry the inside of the spray gun, fill with the next color and spray until the next color is seen. Then I continue. I say uh, those molds are difficult to use, are those small edges and corners inside the molds. It's very difficult to spread the color evenly. I fill the molds with tempered white chocolate from Calabot and I also added 10% of cocoa butter to the chocolate. If you notice, six of the bonbons have a thicker shell. Well, I really don't know why that happened. It just happened. I, I have no explanation for that. So what should I put in these um, Lego bonbons? Well, Lego is Danish and one of the most Danish things to eat in summertime is strawberry and cream. So I will make a strawberry and cream garnish. Just follow me in the kitchen. The ganache has uh, white chocolate inside cocoa butter, strawberries of course, vanilla sugar, glucose and cream. And I put a lot of strawberries inside because I want a very nice taste. First I blended the strawberries, then I melted the chocolate with the cocoa butter and the vanilla sugar and here I put the cream and the strawberry puree in a pot together with the glucose, heat it and mix it with the melted chocolate. Then it's important to mix and blend, and voila, your filling is ready. I forgot one important ingredient is butter. That gives you consistency and of course, good taste. Just put the gunners in the piping back, cool to 28 degrees. For some extra taste and consistency, I put some freeze-dried strawberries inside the shells. When I fill the shells with the filling, they have room temperature, they are not cold. Also important is not to overfill, so you have space for the bottom layer. Then I let the filling set in the fridge. Blowing with a heating gun is not absolutely necessary, but I like to do it. It helps the chocolate to connect much better to the bottom layer.
After cooling the bonbons for about one hour in the fridge or overnight at 16 degree, you will see this beautiful bottom layer. Nice and shiny. So now it's only to take the bonbons out of the mold. And let me tell you, that was a disaster. You see, the cocoa butter is sticking to the mold. Uh, the bonbons are not very nice. Only the blue ones came out clean. So I will make a video for next time and then I will show you what I did wrong and what you shouldn't do wrong. Now I will very fast finish this video and make some nice bonbons for you. So watch it all to the end. And here the result, beautiful Lego bonbons. I hope you liked the video and I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the notification button and I hope you are hungry for more. So please come back soon. And next time I will show you how to avoid this. Bye bye.